Hi guys, I'm back in a new, brand new tutorial. Very simple, using procedural textures to make a dragon skin egg. Or, you know, just a dragon skin. It doesn't have to be an egg. I just made it into an egg shape to give you something to show it on. And not a real, not dragon. Did I say dinosaur, sorry. Well, I guess dragon too. Or monster or whatever fantasy creature you have. Um, sorry I haven't made tutorials in a while, but... Uh, I've been quite busy, and Blender didn't really appeal to me as much as it did before, but it's just, it just happens. I remember when I started using GIMP that, you know, it was real fun at first, but then I got bored of it, but then I'm back on it. Same with Blender. Uh, I do that with a lot of stuff. I begin, like, what was it? Um, well, I just, I begin stuff, projects or whatever, like Blender, you know, programs, and I get into it, but then and I stop but then I start again so it's not like I'm just gonna stop making tutorials forever alright but here's a real easy one dragon skin um, dinosaur skin monster skin whatever uh, let's get started I feel like I have to say this um, I make tutorials for basic beginners I haven't clarified who I make it to but that's what I do um, so if you're an advanced user, I suggest you go to Blender Cookie, BlenderGuru.com and you know check out their videos because I want to help beginners. Uh, I noticed that they have excellent videos, excellent tutorials, but they're ge they're geared toward advanced users. And so I, when I started making tutorials, I had this mindset that it's going to be basic for the basic user or for any user who just oh I forgot how to do this, let me look it up and not just this whole tutorial on how to create a scene. I've done a couple of those, but I mean, I'll do them. It'll it'll be a mix, I guess, but I just wanted to put that out there. So, I added a UV sphere, um, give it a subsurf modifier of level 3, smoothed it, and uh, scaled it so it resembled an egg. Just like that. Let me rotate it a little bit. Oh, and I'm not going to do the particles. I just, the, the grass. That was really crappy grass, by the way. If you don't know what it's supposed to look like, but that is very crappy grass. Um, that's just to add, you know, just give it something so it doesn't look like just an egg right there. So, let's add a new material. I'm very talkative today. Sorry. Texture, and it's going to be clouds. Now, for the basic beginners, um, I'm sure that when you've used when you've used clouds, you haven't used you haven't changed this basis Blender original. But actually, if you click on that, there's very many that Blender comes stored with, and that's what procedural textures are. Those are not using images, but whatever Blender comes with, and so that's how we're gonna make this. So this is a very nice texture. You know, you can use it for just about anything, and you can see it's red because it's open influence. It's affecting the color, and the color is set to this magenta or whatever. So we want to change that to a deep brown, which if you go over to the yellows and you just lower that tone, bam, you got a brown. It's a very ugly brown. I don't know where my brown went. Mm, yeah, I'll keep it like that. All right, now you see that we have these white, you know, um, crisscrosses, lines, whatever. That's because we haven't changed this default diffuse material. And so let's do that right now. Let's make that a lighter brown. And I really don't like that color, but whatever. Alright, let's render it. Alright, looks pretty good. But uh, if you were making an egg, that probably would be the way to go. But if you're making a skin, you want it to feel bumpy. You wanted to give it some, you know, a push to make it feel very realistic. So that's what I'm going to do right here. And by doing that, let's add a new texture. Clouds, deselect color, and select normal. And choose Verani Crackle again. Now you can see that the lines are protruding out because the normal is a positive number. But we want it to be in, in like inside the egg. So let's make this a negative one. And one is probably too big of a, of a yeah, that looks horrible. If, if that ever happens to you, it's just because the normals are too big. So just lower that down to a point 0.1. And 
you know, it looks very much better. It's, you know, you can barely see it, but it's there, and it really does help it, and I like the way that shines right there. So that helps it as well. So there you go, easy, easy tutorial, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm not going to make any more promises about when the more tutorials are going to come, because I've been breaking those left and right, and I don't like doing that, so sorry. But I'll, I'll try to get one as soon as I can, another one out as soon as I can. If you have any requests, you know, leave them in the comments because that really helps instead of me searching for a topic that, oh, they might want to know this or they might want to know that. So, yeah, so if you have a request, leave a comment below. And if you read the comments and you see one and you know what to do, go ahead and leave a comment on that too. You know, help each other out. So, uh, thanks for watching and happy Mother's Day.